Hi friends, uh, in our previous video we looked at uh, you know how, how you can get started with Django and uh, what is Django and uh, in this uh, video we'll uh, briefly or quickly look at uh, uh, the references or where you can you know start learning Django from uh, or where you can make references uh, while you are in your journey of learning Django and my first reference uh, is on our screen and it is uh, Django, the Django official Django documentation. And uh, this is uh, this is it. So you can get it at docs.djangoproject.com. And as you can see, it explains. It is a step-by-step -step tutorial. In my opinion, it's a little bit uh, too technical for beginners, but uh, it has uh, it has kind of looked at. Uh, you know, it has gone deep uh, rather than you know rather than being shallow i'm sure for those people who have been going through tutorials and all that i uh, can see that uh, it's not shallow you know it explains it goes to the depth of explaining everything and it also has a reference to the django django api yeah so this is a this is the website and then it has also it is uh, supported by a very huge uh, community, so you can check uh, if you have any challenges or questions, and you can also look at its uh, the its, uh, code base in GitHub. And then we have our second uh, our second option, which is the Django Web Framework tutorial by the Mozilla Development Network, and. Uh, it also explains it is uh, you know step by step and actually I think it's beginner friendly in my opinion and it uh, kind of also looks at what uh, the basics of web development on HTML CSS and JavaScript as you can see and uh, yeah and it's also structured in a step by step process uh, it has about at the time of this recording it has about eleven kind of chapters or steps that you can uh, kind of look at. And then we also have this website by Vincent that is called Learn Django. So you can also make reference to it. Uh, it has uh, explained quite uh, a lot on different things and functionalities of Django, particularly, you know, login, sign up, searching, handling file and images, uh, third party packages, and customizing the user model, among others. So uh, you can also refer to Django Girls tutorial. Uh, actually, this is where I started with uh, some years back. I didn't when I didn't know a lot about Django, and it really came into handy uh, with helping me get started. And then we have the Django uh, tutorial by uh, Mosh uh, in this channel. His channel, which is programming with Mosh, uh, it has also really helped me. And I believe that if you kind of go through it, you're also going to learn something. And then we have the book. Now these uh, these are the premium. If you feel like you'd want to learn more from uh, Vincent, William Vincent, and then you can look at uh, this book, which is called Django for Beginners. And then you can also check uh, Django for Professionals, uh, which is kind of a step uh, from beginner. You know, you can start on if you feel like you're a pro in Django. And then you can also check for Django for APIs. So yeah, these are some of the references that I could uh, gather that can help you start on learning on Django. So uh, in our next tutorial, we are going to get started and see how we are going to look at uh, Django and probably uh, we'll also develop something, uh, you know, hands-on uh, enough with the theory uh, part. So we uh, kindly subscribe to my channel, uh, like my videos and share them. Uh, widely find them uh, uh, resourceful and uh, let's meet in our next tutorial and uh, thanks for watching